Hi guys, Peter Finch here, and today we're going to talk about a really simple and a really easy chipping drill that you can use that will give you direct reference points to key positions that you want to actually be hitting while playing a chip shot. Now this is a kind of classic chip and run style of shot and it's going to involve kind of quite firm wrist and actually keeping the shaft leaning ahead of the ball at impact. So quite a kind of basic standard chip shot that you'd be amazed how many people struggle with. But it's a really, really good drill. This I kind of picked this up a fair few months ago now, but I've not actually done a video about it. And I've got to be honest, I can't even remember where I picked it up from. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a dream. I'm pretty sure I saw someone on a chipping green use it or another kind of coach demonstrate it somewhere. And it's finally kind of time for me to give it to you guys. Now, all you need is a club, obviously, a ball and an alignment stick. Now, this is quite a thin alignment stick. But all I'm going to do here, I'm just going to put it underneath my left armpit. Now you'll notice here, as I put it under my left armpit, it naturally sits and it naturally moves kind of slightly towards the inside. So it's not kind of hanging out to the out, it's not pushed straight forward. It's just kind of moving slightly towards the inside, which is just a, a happy quirk of body fate. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get set up. I'm going to take the grip on my club. And I'm going to make sure that my shaft is sitting along the same angle as my alignment stick. If I move it slightly further down here, you should get a better idea of where it's at. So I'm going to make sure that my shaft is along the same angle, the same alignment as this alignment stick. Now what this does, you'll see how my hands are ahead of the ball. You'll see how it's leaning down towards the target. Now all I'm going to do here, my, feet, my, heat, my uh, hips and my feet are slightly open to the target as well. Shoulders are square, so what you want to be seeing in a normal kind of chip shot. But what I'm going to do is as I turn my body away, so I turn my shoulders away, I'm going to try and make sure that this alignment stick and the actual shaft are still matching up. So if I kind of move too much on the inside or break my wrist too much, all of a sudden there's a difference in the alignment here between my alignment sticks and my shaft. So I'm going to try and keep them both on top of each other. And as I move through, what I want to be seeing here is again this alignment stick to be lining up with my shaft. Now if I do this, I know that my hands are ahead, I know that they're leaning ahead of the ball. And as I move my body through, again I'm going to try and keep these lined up from my perspective. It's a great drill because it's very, very, very visual. You can't really get away from it. If you actually move through, you hit a shot, and your wrist break down, obviously that shaft is now overtaking the alignment stick rather than staying level. If I can keep them level and I can keep them moving through in the same way, then I know that my wrists aren't breaking down and I'm not flicking at the ball or I'm not pushing my hands too far ahead. I'm just keeping them nice and level with the alignment stick. Simple, eh? Easy. And a very, very visual thing to use and to do. So getting set up into that position, with those feet kind of open, the alignment stick so it's angled along the same angle as the shaft. And I'm just going to try and keep the alignment stick and the shaft lined up as I move through. Love it. Easy. Simple. You know what? It's that simple. I'm going to do another one. Because you can't stop me. I don't think you can stop me. So I'm going to keep them lined up back and through. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's such a simple way to kind of give you guys a visual representation of what you want to be seeing the impact. It's something that a lot of people do struggle with when chipping, but with this to focus on, on top of the actual shaft angle, it takes a lot of the thought away from actually what's happening with the club head and especially helps people who tend to flick at the ball. So guys, let me know what you think. Comment in the box below. I know you guys really like these chipping videos because especially this time of year, kind of moving into the season, you want to be sharpening up on this part of your game, but this is something you can use throughout the year. So guys, let me know what you think. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching. Comment in the box below, share this video around, follow me on my other social media platforms as well. And as always, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.